Hi everyone, I hope you are doing well. So today we will see how to create a progressive inflation on a mesh with a simple or very complex mesh and how to make it return to its original shape. This tutorial will focus on the inflation type of setup, but if you are interested in how to apply two different materials for the original object and for the deformation, you can find it as a bonus tutorial on my Patreon. Okay, let's start now. Okay, so now we are in 3 Max and the first thing I'm going to do is just to create a box that will be used as a base mesh. So error box. For the value I will set 10, 2 and 2 and for the segment maybe 50, 50 and 100. Okay, I can now go to clay mode. It's perfect like this. What I want to do now is to create another box that will be used to create the activation of the close inflation. So I create here another box. I don't need subdivision for this one. Maybe rotate a bit like this the box. And what I want to do now is just to animate this box with two keyframe. So I can go back to the frame 70 here and move the box to above the box one like this. Okay. Perfect. I can now create a type of setup. I don't need the other key. So open editor. I move the windows here. I can now see my layer. I don't need the box one and the box two. I only need the type of setup. I can now create a brush object. Pick my box one. I can see here the box one. Create a close bind operator. For the value of the binding stiffness, I will maybe change the bend to a value of 0.5. And it's enough for the bend. Now what I want to do is to create a custom properties because I want to save the exact position of the box. So I will go here in custom properties. In custom TM, select TM and change the channel name. Maybe save position. I don't need the display here. What I want to do now is to create the activation with the box tool. So I will add a surface test here. Pick the box tool. I can create another display. Link the surface test to the display. And now we can see here with the display the activation. I will just change the surface test type to maybe a volume inside. So now you can see that the activation will be created with the exact position of the box too. It's great. Maybe you can see here some trouble, so I will maybe up the segments. Change nothing, so maybe the size is 8 to a value of 1. Okay. Okay, it's perfect like this. I can now add maybe a bit noise. 0 0.5 for the value a bit frequency to value of one really good now what i want to do is to create the deformation so i will add a force i don't need the display for the force i will go here and select turbulence maybe set the strain value to 0 0.2 and I will now change the scale here. Yeah. Okay, so we can see here the deformation. What we want is for the mesh to remain fixed as long as possible. So I will create an object bind operator. Here, yeah. pick. And now you can see that we don't have trouble here. It's perfect, great. Okay, so it's already good for the animation, but we will create something more interesting here. So I will add a modify binding operator. Go back in the menu and for the inflation, I will set a value of 0 0.2, 0 0.25 maybe. Okay, really cool. Like this, what I love to do is to go here in operation here in operation and change the mode to multiply current 
select band and we will play with the band value. I can maybe up the value to a value of 1.5. And we have here something really interesting here. Maybe at the slow with a big value, maybe 25. Great. Can maybe up the modify binding value for the band, maybe two. Okay, really cool. Okay, I think it will be cool, but it's really not beautiful. So I will select no my type of setup and add a turbo smooth operator. So here, turbo smooth, and it's already better. But I think I can decrease a bit the value of the band. 1.6 will be good, I think. Maybe up again a bit the inflation. Go back to the force and decrease a bit the force. Maybe a value of 0.1. Add another turbulence. I don't change the scale here. One is a good value. And I will up a bit the strength. 0.52. Okay. Really good like this. I can now go back in close bind and activate enable CUDA collision solver to have a really perfect collision with the cloth. And it's great like this. It's perfect. Maybe the force is again too strong. 0 0.5 will be better, I think. Just up a bit the inflation again. I will just deselect the CUDA collision solver for the moment because I want to simulate faster. Great. Okay, so we have here our animation. If I deselect now the object bind, we can see that with the modify binding and the slow, we don't have the problem. So the object bind is not necessary. Just think about it if you have some trouble with the end of your animation. Now what I want to do is to go back to the original shape. So I re add a time test. I cannot create a fine target. Link the time test to the fine target. In target object, I will select my box one and for the point in the target location, I will select custom TM. I cannot set safe position for my channel. Maybe up a bit the acceleration to value of 20. And let's see how it looks. Okay, so we have all the information. And after a value of 10 frame, the mesh go back to the original shape. You can here, change the value, maybe 20, if you want to keep the inflation a bit more. Okay, it's cool. We can see here the cube shape, but we have some trouble with the modify binding. So I will add here another modify binding operator. For the operation, I will select reset to original just activate the band and it's good you can see that the effect works it's really really cool like this now what i have to do is just to play with the force and the modify binding to create the look you want for your effect maybe play with the force, maybe Perlin. Perlin looks great also. You can of course add a relax modifier to smooth a bit your animation. So here, relax. Up the iteration to maybe 100. It's great. If you want to have maybe a smooth animation for the implant but not for the origin mesh, it's really simple. What you have to do is just to go here, add a tie select. Set the subject level to vertice 
and for the selector setting, I will select deformation. Here, deformation. So you can see in red that only the deformation is selected. So I can just move the relax. And now you can see the difference. The smooth will be only active on the deformation. I can maybe up again the value to show you. Relax value to 1 and iteration to 200. And we can see here already smooth and here it's more sharp. Okay, I can now go back here in close. Deselect the relax to simulate faster and show you the whole animation. It's really, really cool. You can, of course, as I said, change the timing of the reconstruction of your shape by playing with the time test. And you see, you have only a small inflation here, or maybe up the value, and you have a big, big, big inflation. As I said, if you have trouble here, you just have to reactivate the object. And as you can see, it's perfect. I will just add a little relax here, add the tie select, another relax with the high value 50 and a relax value of 0 0.25. And here I have a really cool, really cool result. It's great. So you can create really cool result. It's up to you to play with the force and the modify binding to create the look you want for your animation, for your close inflation. Okay guys, it's over for this tutorial. I hope you've learned a lot of things. Don't forget to thumb up and to subscribe if you like my work. And you can find the complete project and bonus tutorial on my Patreon. And also follow me on Instagram or Beyond if you want. See you soon for the next tutorial, guys. Bye.